Hey guys, it's Chainfire9001 here again with another Lunar Magic tutorial. I received a question regarding how to make uh, different sprites be able to appear together in Lunar Magic in the same level. And I was already planning to do a tutorial on that anyway, so that's what we're going to do. So you'll recall in a previous tutorial I mentioned that all the graphics for Super Mario World are split into graphics tile sets. And you select which tile sets get loaded into the level, and when you select your sprites, you should be choosing sprites whose graphics all belong to that tile set, otherwise they will look glitchy. So the question becomes, how do we access those tile sets? How do we modify them? How do we make our custom tile sets? And ultimately, how do we insert custom tile sets? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to smwcentral.net and go to the tools section. You need a special tool called YYCHR. It's down near the bottom. There it is. So you download that, and what it looks like is this. This is YYCHR. So we have the program. Now we need to actually get to the tile sets. So open up your ROM to any level and look up in the toolbar. There are these four colored mushroom buttons. The first one is quick, is quick extract graphics from ROM. So we're going to click on that. And if you go to the folder that contains your ROM, you'll now see a folder called graphics. And inside there is a file called all graphics or all GFX this file you can open with YYCHR. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, tutorial, graphics, all graphics. And what you need to do is in this Dropbox you need to select SNES. So now everything looks good. So this file here has all the graphics from Super Mario World. Now this isn't too useful for what we plan to do here. Uh, where this comes in handy is if you want to change maybe the Nintendo Presents thing or change how certain very common things look like the p-switch or whatever we actually want the individual tile sets so go back to your ROM go to options and you'll see an option that says use joined graphics files uncheck that and now go click on that red mushroom again so now what happens is in this graphics folder now we have all these GFX tile sets, GFX00 all the way through GFX33. Again, these are hexadecimal numbers, so you'll see you know, 1A and 1D and etc, etc. So the specific question I got was how to make Pokey and bob -omb appear together. bob -omb is from graphics tile set 02 and uh, Pokey is from 09. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to open 02 and we're going to take a look at it. So bob -omb the regular bob -omb is here. It's on the third row, uh, second and third from the right, these two spots. Alternatively, you can look down here. Um, there, it says bank 5A, and then this one is bank 4C or 4A. Well, whatever. You just need to know. You need to note. You need to note the exa the exact spot for these. That's very important. So we're going to remember that. Let's open GFX09 and take a look at that one. So here's Pokey up here, that's his head, and then down here is his body. Now, we're already using sprites from this tile set in our level, namely the Volcano Lotus and the Pitch and Chuck and the Monty Moles. So basically, we've restricted ourselves to having to import bob -omb's graphics into this tile set. So we would have to overwrite this tile here and this tile here. What are these? Well, this looks like uh, part of the fire from the uh, Sumo Brothers. These squiggly things, I believe, are Super Koopa Capes. When you um, hit them on the head or hit them with something and they, they fall off the screen and die. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but that's what I think they are. So, at this point, you need to ask yourself the question, can you live without these two things? Because you're going to be replacing them with bob -omb's. So based on that based on the answer to that question you would either proceed with the next step or you would scratch the idea and try something else so I'm gonna go ahead and say we're gonna proceed so this is what I'm gonna do before I make any more changes or do anything with YYCHR I'm gonna go back to the ROM and there's two more mushroom buttons we have there's there's a blue mushroom button here quick extract EX GFX from ROM I'm gonna click on that and you can ignore this message, that's okay. There's nothing, it's because we haven't inserted anything yet. 
And what you'll see is in the folder that contains ROM, now there's another folder that says EX Graphics. So there's the graphics and then there's EX Graphics. So our custom tile sets are going to go into the EX Graphics folder. One thing I should note, in the Graphics folder you'll see all the tile sets are named in the same fashion. They have capital GFX and then there's a hexadecimal two digit number. You have to use the exact same naming scheme in your EX graphics folder, except you're going to have EX GFX instead of just GFX. So that said, now we go to YYCHR. And this is GFX09. I'm going to make a copy of this. So I'm going to save as. And I'm going to save it in the EX graphics folder. I'm going to give it the name capital E lowercase x, capital GFX, and then I'm going to put 80. All your uh, custom tile sets, they have to start from 8-0. You can't use certain numbers. You have to start from 8-0. Um, don't worry too much about why that is. Just do it. So save. So I've made a copy of this tile set. So now I'm going to open the tile set with bob -omb. That's GFX02. And I'm just going to copy his tiles over to that um, custom tile set. So copy. and paste and you have to paste them in the exact same spots that's very important they have to be exactly where they were in the other tile set now I believe there is a way to remap which tiles are used uh, for a particular sprite but I don't actually know how to do that so you're sort of stuck with this method at least I am. And paste and save. So now we have our custom tile set. This is all we want. There were some other bob -omb graphics in the other tile set, but those were for the uh, the one with the parachute, so we're not going to deal with that. Okay, so that's all we're going to do with YYCHR. So we're going to we're going to get rid of that. So here's our exgfx file. Now go back into your ROM. And what we're going to do is you're going to click on the fourth mushroom button. It says quick insert exgfx to ROM. So click on that. Now if you remember we used this purple poison mushroom here to determine which um, tile sets got loaded into our level. And you'll see for all of these settings you'll see that there are four slots that are pre-selected for you. SP1, SP2, SP3, SP4. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the red poison mushroom and what this is, this is the super graphics bypass um, dialog. So click this box and now what this allows you to do is you can individually select which tile set to use for each of the slots for both foreground and background and also for sprites. The one we were interested in was SP4. So here we have it on SP4 is not is 09, which is the pokey tile set, and then up higher is uh, 02, which has the bob the Bobom tile sets. But remember, we inserted our own tile set, so we're going to go and find that. Now you'll see there's a bunch of these that say do not use. So the last one of those is uh, 7F or 7E, and then 7F is a skip file. So this is why you have to start it at 80. Right, so we can see that 80 has been inserted. There's a number here, and the ones above the, the ones greater than that have not been inserted. So we're going to select SP4 80, 80, and we say OK, and we save. Now let's go to tile set specific sprites, and you'll see Bobom looks correct, whereas before it did not look correct. So now we can actually put some Bobombs in here. So let's put him in instead of these Koopas. Like that. And we save. And you'll note that Pokey still looks correct also. So really the only thing left to do is just to test it and make sure that everything actually worked. So let's go do that. Okay, so time to test to make sure that our sprites work. So we go down here. And there we go, we have bob -omb. Uh, the explosion doesn't look quite right, but that might be neg negligible. Depends if you're willing to settle for that. Pokey looks proper, so that's what we expected. 
So that's really all we needed to check, just that those two sprites are working properly, especially the bob -omb. And that's really all there is to it. So try it out for yourself. Um, again, it really depends which sprites you're trying to put together. Some combinations, just there's no practical way to do it, especially if they're sprites where you need to overwrite tiles of the other sprite in order to insert a certain one. So in any case, uh, give it a shot. If things don't work out, hey, that's how things go. You know, come up with a different idea. It's happened to me several times. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. I'm Chainfire9001, and I'll see you again later.